Tell me again how we live in luxury, this modern day life of throwaway absurdity, where it's a privilege to queue for food, whilst getting knowing glances judging you. We can't face the neighbours, because they know, they've seen your recycle bag and the contents it shows, the tins of food bank sustenance that we can't live without, the cheap cans of poison we use to wash it down, to blot it all out. It treats us like we live the high life in our palaces in the sky, the high-rise lives lived in towers that are despised. A blot on the landscape, the rich man sighs as he pulls up to his gated mansion of lies. And as the flames rise, the crocodile tears will fall from those very same eyes. The combustible walls fall, the lives inside lost to all. Cost-cutting measures to save a few pounds, to pile on mountains already too tall. Poor lives matter less than the upper classes. This the lesson the newspapers provide to the masses. We live in such luxurious times when you can't get by without a personal loan shark, a man that won't think twice about kneecapping you in an alley after dark. Minimum wage welfare state feels unfair that our lives are lived as wage slaves. Don't set a retirement date. You can't stop, you must keep going. Work till you drop, dig your own graves. Cash flow slows, it circles the plug hole and then down it goes. And if you want help from the bank, they like to say no. But they will bill you for the time it took to tell you so. Lining the pockets of stockholders and corporate suits whilst they treat us like shit on polished shiny boots. We live in luxury, so why must I ask, do we need to find escape at every path we take? Why do we fall into the lake of tears that addictions create? Drink, drugs, sex, any way to escape from the void that surrounds, to dull down the screaming sounds or the thudding noise that pounds. We watch television shows to see how the other half live their lives. But it's less about the other halves than the small percentage that hold us at the point of their knives. Thieves and vampires sucking us dry, bleeding us of our rights. And we just sit back and take it. Because they call themselves knights.